Hey guys, welcome to Costing Tips and Tricks with KSJ Teaching. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the important notifications. And also, do hit the like button on each and every video and share this video with all your buddies and create awareness about the KSJ Teaching. Okay, so what are we going to discuss in this video? It is a very common and a very important thing that is about something about the semi variable cost that if you are given a semi variable cost then how to bifurcate the semi variable cost how to find out the variable portion and the fixed cost portion out of a semi variable cost now this is one area which is going to be used in many of the questions right across the chapters I will say so this is a very common thing and lot of people face issues in that also in this also okay so let us see with the help of an example I'll take a very simple example on one side you are given the units on one side you are given the units and on the other hand you are given the overheads the semi variable overheads okay so at 3000 units you have the overheads of 30,000 at 4000 units you have the overheads of 35000 now one thing is clear sir these overheads are not completely variable right and these very uh, overheads are not completely fixed okay sir how do we get to know that these are not completely variable because had they been completely variable then instead of 35000 it should have been 40000 right the overhead rate per unit would have been same right and fixed sir obviously it is not fixed because they are changing from 30,000 to 35,000 so it is very much clear that they are not the fixed overheads clear so how to identify the variable part and how to identify the fixed cost see the first thing that we need to identify is that for a change of 1000 units how uh, what is the change in the overheads 5000 that means for 1000 units this 5000 is my variable cost right this is my variable cost this is my variable cost for 1000 units right so can you tell me the variable cost per unit obviously we can calculate easily if we need to calculate variable cost per unit variable cost per unit how to calculate it sir 5000 is the variable cost for how many units for 1000 units so the variable cost per unit is 5 rupees now we need to identify that out of this 30,000 or out of this 35,000 how much is the variable part and how much is the fixed part how we can calculate that sir very simple how we have calculated the variable cost per unit that is 5 rupees so that means if we need to calculate the variable cost that is 3000 units multiplied by 5 rupees 15,000 this is my variable cost now what will be the fixed cost out of total 30,000 15,000 is my variable cost so the remaining 15,000 is my fixed cost right so whenever you have a problem where you are given the semi variable cost and you need to find out the variable portion out of it and the fixed cost portion out of it this is how you need to solve it that for a change in the number of units what is the change in the overheads if this cost is changing 5000 this is my variable cost for how many units 1000 units so the variable cost per unit is calculated then take up any of the values you can uh, you can do this thing with 4000 units also right take any of the values and try to find out the variable and the fixed portion separately right so this is how you have to deal with the semi variable cost okay so this is a very common thing you will come across many questions where you will have to calculate the semi variable cost uh, you will need to find out the variable portion out of it and the fixed cost portion out of it okay so i hope this video will help a lot of you and do not forget to share with all your friends because they also need to get benefited from such videos okay so see you guys with some more tips in the next video stay safe stay healthy thank you so much